Welcome to Module 12 of Excel 2016. In this module, you will learn how to display formulas, insert references, and perform calculations by using the sum, min, max, count, and average functions. In order to practice using the formulas, you're going to convert the temperatures table back to a range. Click anywhere on the table. Go to the Design tab and click Convert to Range. For your data, some functions are more applicable than others. However, we're going to practice with all of them. At the bottom of the table, below the word Average, type SUM and then press Enter. Continue with Min, Max, and Count. Format the cells to look the same as the column above it by using the Format Painter. Let's practice adding up the temperatures from 1980 to 1985 for January. The first way you can do this is by typing in a formula. In cell B44, type in equals 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus negative 29 plus negative 31 plus negative 28 and press Enter. The result of this formula is negative 88, which you now see in cell B44. Click again on cell B44. The formula itself appears in the formula bar. If you double-click cell B44, the formula appears in both the active cell and the formula bar. You can edit the formula in this mode. Press Enter so that cell B44 is no longer active. Using a cell reference rather than the data displayed in a cell gives you more flexibility in your worksheet. If the data in a cell changes, any formulas that reference the cell will change as well. Make cell B44 active. In the formula bar, delete the negative 28, which is the last number in the formula. Instead, Click on cell B37. It is now added to the formula. Press Enter. Notice that the sum is still negative 88 degrees. If you add a new row above row 37, the cell number for January 1985's data would change. Excel recognizes this and updates your formula automatically. Sometimes you do not want a cell reference to change when you move or copy it. Click on cell D44 and type equal sign D42 plus D41 plus D40 and press enter. The total is negative 176. Now copy cell D44 and paste it in cell F44. Notice that the values change, as Excel used this same formula, but applied it to cells F42, F41, and F40. The total is now negative 203. Delete cell F44. Return to D44. This time, we are going to create an absolute cell reference. Add a dollar sign in front of D, and in front of 42, so that the formula reads equal sign dollar sign D dollar sign 42 plus D41 plus D40. Press Enter. There is no difference to the sum of this formula. Now copy cell D44 and again paste it in cell F44. This time, the value changes to negative 190 degrees. The reason is that Excel kept D42 in the formula, but added it to F41 and F40. You can see this by reading the formula bar. By clicking in the formula bar, the cells in the formula are highlighted. You've been creating or modifying cell references that refer to cells in the same worksheet. 
However, you can also refer to cells in another worksheet or to another workbook entirely. Let's say you want to compare the average temperatures with the average ice levels. Add a new column between columns N and O. Title this column Average Ice Levels. In cell O6, type the equal sign. Then click to the Ice Levels tab. Click the cell for the average ice level in 2016. Press Enter. Now you can see the temperatures for 2016 and the average ice level in one view. Reference the average ice levels for each year in your data set now. Functions provide an easy way to perform mathematical work on a range of cells quickly and conveniently. Adding a range of cells is one of the most common calculations performed on worksheet data. In row 44, calculate the sum of all the temperatures between 1980 and 2016. Start by deleting the sums you calculated earlier manually. Click cell B44. Then click the Formulas tab. Click the Auto Sum button arrow and select Sum from the menu. Select all the January temperature cells, which are B6 through B42, and press Enter. Another way to do this is to remember the function shortcut. In cell B44, type equal sum, parenthesis, into the cell, then select all the January temperature cells, which are B6 through B42. Close the function with the right parenthesis. Press Enter. Now drag the formula across the table so that the sum is calculated for each column. The min function allows you to determine the minimum value in a range of cells. In the same way as before, click cell B45, then click the Formulas tab. Click the Auto Sum button arrow and then select Min from the menu. Select all the January temperature cells and press Enter. The Max function returns the largest value in a dataset. Now calculate the max temperature in January using either Auto Sum or the formula equals max parentheses B6 through B42, close parentheses. Use the count function when you want to determine how many cells in a range contain a number. There are other variations of the count function. The count A function counts all non-blank entries in a range, whether they include text or numbers. The count blank function counts the number of blank cells in a range. Let's use the standard count function to see how many times a temperature was recorded for January over the dataset. Again, use either the auto sum tool or enter in function equal count parentheses B6 through B42 close parentheses. To complete our data, select January's min, max, and count cells and drag them across the table.